People would definitely be shocked by the severity of this issue. Unless your job revolves around the issue of sexual assault like Adriana Perez's does, you might be surprised by how common it really is, especially on college campuses, she says, and especially in college sports. The culture of just kind of masculinity as being kind of superior, men being um, sexual beings more so than women, kind of having to have that power, that win mentality. According to the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network, a sexual assault happened happens once every 92 seconds in the U.S. And college women are up to three times more likely than all other women to be victims of sexual assault. It's why starting this fall, all students coming into the Minnesota State College system will be required to take sexual assault training. And it covers what is sexual violence, what does that look like. It covers intersections of oppression and identity and how that can lead to sexual violence. The system covers 30 colleges and seven universities, not including, however, the University of Minnesota, where this weekend's alleged sexual assault took place. The university has its own training program that President Eric Kaler launched in 2017. The first batch of students received that training this past school year, and the students themselves launched a complimentary campaign of their own called It Ends Here. I am here to listen or help in any way I can. But an hour-long training video, Perez says, should only be the beginning. It'll take buy-in from students, coaches, teachers, and the community at large to change a culture that she says blames victims and protects the attacker. These cases can have a lot of power. We can all play a bigger part in preventing things like this from happening in the future. The University Athletic Department says the two student athletes have been suspended from team activity until the investigation is complete. At this time, we're not releasing their names because they haven't been officially charged yet. The courts have until tomorrow to make a decision on whether to charge them or to let them go. All right. Thank you, Gordon.